So I'm stood currently on the side of Great Gable, just looking back across to Scarfell, just setting the clouds there. Sorry, Scarfell Pike. And then we've got Ill Crag, Broad Crag, and Great End. So my plan is to pick up the corridor route, which traverses across all this, and I'm going to um, camp along the way somewhere there. But before I do, I think I'm going to have to get myself to the top of a couple of those peaks. I've not done them for a year, maybe. So it will be nice to get some more views in. But look at this. Look, just look at it. Look at it, Blue. The corridor route it is. That's the way I'm heading. And then on the way up, I'll have a look and see what pitches there are. And then uh, I'll probably continue, get the drone out, have a bit of a play, and then uh, come back down and find uh, the perfect, perfect pitch. Look at it though, so exciting, amazing up there. Right, come on then, let's be off. Ow. You won't be able to see that, but I just twisted my ankle doing that. <laughs> Off of the camera, eh? Honestly. I wish I got paid for doing this game. I won't feel as bad then. No. I love it anyway. It makes no difference. Looking back then, I've just started from here on the corridor route. And then last night, I slept on the top of this one. It's green gable. And this is the absolutely epic Great Gable. And I've just been to the top of that one. And now, keeping going all the way around, we're gonna follow this corridor route up through all this to the sunshine. Mountain carrots. what it's about so the path continues along there and I'm gonna head up that green grassy bit and then look left and right and I think the point I need to pitch a tent is gonna be whoa just on top of that there let's go have a look eh? Go on, get on. Just look at this. Just one of those places where you know hardly anyone's ever been. Absolutely incredible. So this is the summit of Round Howe. Not many people get to this one because it is in the middle of absolutely nowhere. 741 meters. And the Scarfell Pike in the background there. 
and just sits in front of all this broad crag. It's like dinosaur country. Honestly, this is just, yep, no words, no words. So yeah, this is the place I'm going to pitch. I was on the top of Green Gable last night and it was this morning that I looked over here and this was the point which the sun just shone on in the morning and I thought that is where I'm going to come and camp. So I took the uh, corridor route up to this point. I was going to do the other way around and then drop back down to this but I'm just, uh, I'm in awe of this place. It's honestly spectacular. I'm going to pitch my tent nice and early I'm gonna get all my kit ready and sorted out and then I'm gonna get the drone out and I think I'm gonna go for a bit of a run and I might get to the top of a couple of these uh, peaks around here look at that though well this is literally the only place I can pitch a tent on top of here a tiny little flat ledge and it's right on the cliff edge so we have got luckily the small Fall Raven Abisco Light 1 tent. So I've squeezed this into some places before that are very small. This one is quite similar, but definitely doable. The only problem is I won't be able to get pegs in in some places, so I might have to use a few rocks. Anyway, let's get on with it, eh? So there we go, we've got it pitched, squeezed in to the best of my ability. It's only just a fit there, but it will definitely do the trick. It is the windy side of the mountain, so I'm gonna take a right battery tonight, I think. But I don't mind, because I wanna test this tent. So I've actually set it up with a doorway, just here by this rock, just so we've got a bit of a windbreak and I can do a bit of cooking. I'm in and set up, got my little table going there, just a couple of beers on for tonight, a little bit of water, I do need to go filter some more water, but I've had a look around and there's a water source about 300 yards away, so I'll go sort that in a bit. Blue is just chilling, he loves it, look at that, curled up in a ball. And I'm just going to relax back and I'm going to eat this cold because I can't be bothered warming it up. It's an army ration pack, chicken and mushroom pasta. And all you need is this, a long spoon. So I'm gonna have that, and then uh, I might have to get the drone out and have a play.
I've come out for a bit of a wonder. Um, I've actually got a bit cold, to be honest. Fingers are uh, feeling it. Um, just because it's uh, a constant breeze and just taking your heat away from your body. So I've got all my clothes on and I've come out for a, a walk because I need to filter some water and um, warm that body up. But this is um, broad crag, all this. So I just thought I'll just tackle it and just go straight up. So I'm uh, heading straight up uh, broad crag, all this behind me. And then uh, I'll get to the top and then I'll be able to look back down where my tent is, which is pretty cool because it's just set in the middle of all this. It's absolutely epic. Um, so I'm going to keep on going, get to the top, walk back down, filter some water and then uh, I'll get back and chill out and have some tea and a beer. So from Broad Crag, just dropping down and then in the background, that big one there is Great Gable and my tent is currently perched on top of this central bit here, right in the middle of all this. It is honestly epic. Go on, climb. Good lad, go on. So this is the last part just to get to the summit of Broad Crag. As you can see, it's pretty rocky. And this is it, the highest point, Broad Crag. This is the uh, Sawyer Mini Filter, absolutely awesome bit of kit, lightweight, easy to use, can't really go wrong unless you uh, break the bag, but this actually does fit on top of a normal bottle as well. And what I've done is I have filled up the Hydro Pack Seeker 2 litre bag. Now this thing is absolutely awesome, absolutely brilliant bit of kit. It's got handles on so you can attach it to your bag and obviously you can use that for pouring as well. Um, but anyway, all the uh, links to these sorts of bits of kit and everything are down in the description below. So you can check it out and have a look. Anyway, we are heading back up to the top here to get back into that tent. Just getting a little bit cooler. And you can see in the distance there, the uh, clouds are just starting to sit down onto these mountains. I love being out here. I absolutely bloody love it. Just me, nobody else here, just me. I love it. Right, let's get out of. Home sweet home. This is it. This is what it's all about. And it was really nice just to get pitched up early and then go off for a bit of an adventure, climb up around the top of that peak and all the way back down again. And when I'm around and about, I always check out for other spots that I'll be able to camp in the future and then I, I make a note of it. But in where I've just been, nothing. Absolute rock and crag everywhere. 
Hey. Oh, dog. Hey. It's a good life, isn't it? Isn't it a good life? We are so lucky, me and you. So lucky. Aren't we? Hey. Such a lucky pair, me and you. <laughs> get on then, go on. Get on. Anyway, oh, let's get a beer open. Right, when I get my chair out, have a beer, and just take this in for a minute. This is camp comfort that I don't like doing without. I like a nice comfy chair to be able to drink my tea, drink, <laughs> drink my tea, yeah, drink my teas, beers, or a tea. Cheers to no tears. Cheers for semi nice beers. And cheers for having no fears. I am definitely going to write a poem. I'm all snug in my tent. I love this little tent. It's quite windy as you can tell, it's flapping about a bit, but we are on a very, very exposed ledge here. Blue's happy. Mighty bluey dog. There he is. And um, I'm gonna give you two top tips now. So I'm sat here drinking a beer. And when you're drinking, when you're out, what you don't want to do is fall off a cliff. So tip number one, don't fall off a cliff. That's not the tip. That's because I'm tip C. So top tip, use your shoe or boot as your method of storing your can. And then you're not gonna have any spillages in your tent. Top tip number one. Top tip number two, so currently I'm sat upright in my tent and the reason is if I pull this back my chair what I've done is I've laid it on its back and then I've got this set up here where I can now actually put my thermorest mat against it and I've got a seat to sit against in my tent that is an awesome top tip so there you go What a lovely day. It has been immense, absolutely immense. So just being able to uh, get myself up and down all these mountains, just, you know, I just feel so lucky that I can do that. And it's such a pleasure to do so and just make that decision to get out and do it. So I'm fed and watered. I'm sat comfortably in this lovely little tent. I've had my cup of tea and, um, I am going to get myself ready for bed, brush my teeth, got to brush teeth every time. As you can tell it's uh, a little windy, um, but you'd sort of expect it being on the uh, edge of this sort of a hill, mountain, whatever you want to call it, and it is raining, which I wasn't expecting, but you can hear that I'm sure. <sighs> anyway, it is a time to lay this log. Blue's already done it. Totally sparked. 
Anyway, see you in the morning. Be a long night. Come here. Come on. Good boy. Good lad. Morning, flowers. What a night that was. It was pretty damn wild. It was uh, battering against my tent all night. And even though I had uh, earplugs in, it still kept waking me up. Uh, but in between, I did sleep well, to be fair. Uh, anyway, time to get packed up and then. Uh, I'm going to head straight up out of this bowl and pick um, an off-piece route which is going to take me to the top of uh, Great End and then from there I'll drop back down the other side uh, to Sprinkling Town and then head back to the car. It's cleared up a bit as well which is pretty good so at least I can see but I didn't get what I wanted and that was the sun waking me up pouring down onto this uh, plateau. Anyway he is trying to get out currently but not quite there. Right, time to pack this tent up. Good lad. So this is the cairn at the top of Round Howe. Um, 741 metres to get here, so it's a fair climb. And this to me is a bit understated to what, uh, what should be here. So what I'm gonna do is, sorry to whoever built this, but I'm gonna knock this down and I'm just gonna rebuild it and make something a little bit nicer, that's all. I feel it deserves it, this place, because it is actually spectacular and there won't be many people at all that ever actually walk up to this point. Right, let's break it. So there we go. This place deserves a better cairn and there we have it. Hopefully this will last a good few years and I tried to build it bigger than the mountain in the background. So yes, 741 meters. And if you're ever up here on the top of Round Howe, just know that I built this cairn. <laughs> Brilliant, eh? And not quite tears, but almost blood. That is a nasty crush of my finger with that massive rock that I pulled out. So anyway, it's all part of it. I feel like I've done my day's work and now it is time to uh, skidaddle up this uh, mountain behind you. You ready then, Bluey? Come on. Good lad. Right, let's go. Dear. So there we go, the end of another adventure. Oh, it has been awesome, like always. I absolutely love it. And I love just uh, passing these places on to people for them just to get a little bit of an experience of it, even if they never come themselves. So hopefully I'll uh, inspire a few of you to um, get out and do a bit more. And do you know what? I want my channel to grow. I want it to be a big channel. I want to inspire as many people as possible. So tell a friend, tell a colleague, tell people who you believe might actually get a bit out of this um, because obviously that's how it goes, just spreading the word. It does make a hell of a difference. So 
anyway give it a like and subscribe if possible if you need to um ask me any questions whatsoever just give us a, a comment below and i'll uh, i'll uh, get back to everything i can i always try my best to talk to absolutely everyone possible so So it is time for me to get off and I'm actually walking that way and look what's coming in. I'm going to have to walk through that. Ah, I love this. Right, get on then. We'll see thee. Certain places are a no-go and this is one of them but look at that we've got this uh, rock trapped between the two sides of this uh, crevice and it's absolutely beautiful but just down here there's uh, some little waterfall sets and they are so steep and there's just not a chance I'd get down with the dog so <laughs> I'm not risking that nowhere but beautiful and I'm glad I've been able to see it look at that <laughs> 